Volva. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement, kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There's something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are! The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrell. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. Rupture up there. There'll be a way in. Yeah, this could get me inside.
stop the turbine. Good. Here I am again, hiding in the gym, writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday, and then suddenly passed away in his sleep, and no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. living area. It's pretty big, too. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and, well, let's face it, a harem living through the end times in a trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that kagori has gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. Girl's right. Nothing normal about Ted. This is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, Check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, something tells me it didn't turn out that way. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. That looks like some kind of access control. Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, she's different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice. 
which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh. Renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete. As he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland. And as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. The Renewer, greatest of the ancestors. The man who saved the world. And you. You understand, Sobek. You are her. Pharaoh's harbinger. His assistant. Come. We will descend into Thebes together. As it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Pharaoh's domain. Simply breathtaking. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exits? Indeed. Now let it be done. Think all this preserved for the ages. As destiny intended for me. Pharaoh's visage, a monument to greatness. True. I see. It's a monument to something. I'll give you that. The Emperor will heap rewards upon you for this. My CEO. Great risks bring great bounties, Overseer. I think this way might lead down. Brianna didn't wake up this morning. She's gone. Just like Grigori. 
I'm looking up at the giant, hideous statue of Ted in the Great Hall. At his eyes. And I know now that he's watching. He's watching us all. He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. Discussion of your feet, Bohai. Brianna told me that Gregory hacked into restricted files and found out something awful. That Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Gregory? Kill him for discovering what he did? There wasn't a mark on Krikori's body. His heart just gave out. Find anything interesting? I am... Um, I can't make sense of it yet. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Huh. Statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! Just us then. to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed.
When I built this place, when its special systems were designed, I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what'll happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living? Man? Is the data lost to her? Scan the device, if you will. Please, scan the device. You did this for him? You put, like, off switches in everyone's heads? Can you? You mustn't judge me. I had no choice. If I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? Tell me what your focus reveals about the device. You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did you Scan find a the device, Aloy? if you yeah. will. I'll share it with you later. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues. Or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. 
Of course, he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it, and let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer, which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature, just in case anyone ever tries to steal my genes, so to speak.
advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... Kill them too. No witnesses. Okay, here we go then. No oh, choice. take her out!
Cover! Targeting! found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go, and then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please, but Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress up. You all right?
finally up and about. How can she make jumps like that? Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal, or worse. You think they might be alive? Horus has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone. Could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor reborn. <sighs> May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. So you two are soldiers? 
Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So, you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The Diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the Legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen Way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you, since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland, and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Finally changed. I don't think I can get to that ship. At least, not now. Jump onto the ground to get it down.
You're mine! data from the drone. machines attacking. Just trade. 